is is the effort at bills like this because I see them every session I'm down here. Is it about trying to find things that make people high, make them do foolish things, and trying to ban it preemptively, or do you see a problem first, and then you go, wait a minute, we need to address what this chemical is? It is a big problem. Uh, a lot of tobacco shops are selling this now. Uh, I know it was brought to my attention last year with the military about our military guys at Lejeune using it and how big of a problem it had become on the base. Uh, so I got to doing a little research, and most of, well, I shouldn't say most, but many of the tobacco shops uh, in Jacksonville area were selling it. And uh, as I got to looking uh, more into the drug, it's just all over the board about the effects that it has. So it's really not controlled at all. Uh, some of it has been measured to be maybe 10, 12 times more potent than marijuana. It's just, I mean, it's just some bad stuff, and uh, need, you know, something needs to be done. So the, the product itself is not controlled in terms of quality, in your opinion. It's, it's not it's like not. alcohol, for instance. You can go drink yourself crazy and run off the road or something like that. What's the difference in a, in a K2 that's legal now, methadrone, which is, I think, legal still, and going out to the bar in Jacksonville or down at the beach and drinking it or not? Well, I, I think at least at a bar you have an idea of how potent a beer is or a, a particular drink may be. Well, with this stuff, you have no idea how potent it is. And uh, I had, uh, we had a lady in our committee that came to us where her son and a friend had taken some of this drug, uh, ends up going into a seizure, heart, heart rate at 300, you know, uh, should have died or, uh, in most circumstances, but didn't, fortunately, did not die. But had no clue just how potent this drug was. And I think that's just an example. Uh, it's just, it's hard to monitor.